This is a mental imagery training track for your hockey performance. And in this mental imagery track, we'll follow a four-step process I call the ball process. Breathing, affirmations, looking back, and looking forward. So to begin, I want you to find a quiet, comfortable place where for about the next 1% of your day, or 14 minutes and 24 seconds, you won't be disturbed and can take a moment and just invest into your own present moment focus, relaxation, and mental preparation through visualization. So whether you do this laying down on the ground, on your back with your feet flat on the ground, or your legs straight out in front of you, or sitting at your stall, sitting in the stands, or just sitting in a chair, fix your eyes on a spot on the field of vision in front of you and focus on that spot, focus on that spot, and now let your eyes gently shut. As you inhale, breathing nice and deep through your nose for count of six. Hold for two, and then exhale for eight. In for six, hold for two, exhale for eight, one breath at a time. We talk about going through your season one day at a time, competing one shift at a time. Right now, just take a moment and allow yourself to relax and allow yourself to be where your feet are one breath at a time. And as an elite level player, you make yourself lift weights, you make yourself do the training, the conditioning, the film study, the on and off ice work. Right now, there's nothing to make yourself do. Just let yourself relax. And as you continue to focus on your breathing, following that 6 to 8 breath, we'll transition into a body scan. And when you hear me say the number five, just put your awareness and attention into your toes, the balls of your feet, your arches, your ankles, your Achilles, your calves, and your shins as they release, relax, and let go. And with the number four, move that awareness into your knees, your quads, your hamstrings, your hips, your whole lower body. Just release, relax, and let go. And what you'll realize is that the more relaxed you become, the better you might feel. And the better you might feel, the more relaxed you might want to become. And with the number three, move that awareness into your lower back, mid-back, upper back, your abs, your obliques, your ribs, your chest, your whole torso. Just release, relax, and let go. And with the number two, Move that awareness into your traps, shoulders, biceps, triceps, elbows, forearms, hands, and fingers. And with the number one, move that awareness up the back of your neck, the back of your head, your forehead, your eyes, your cheeks, your jaw. Your lips gently part and the tongue just hangs in your mouth as a complete and total body relaxation and centering takes over. And what you'll realize is that the more relaxed you become, the better you might feel And the better you might feel, the more relaxed you might want to become. We'll now transition into affirmation or self-talk training. Please repeat the following statements to yourself. There's no need to say them out loud, but say them with that strong, confident, internal voice. Let's begin. I compete one shift at a time. I compete one shift at a time. I compete one shift at a time. I control what I can control and let go of what I can't. I control what I can control and let go of what I can't. I control what I can control and let go of what I can't.
my confidence comes from preparation. My confidence comes from preparation. My confidence comes from preparation. I give all I got to win this shift. I give all I got to win this shift. I give all I got to win this shift. And now, as you take another full deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth, I want you to take a moment and just look back at your previous hockey success. Whether that's with your current team, throughout your entire career, wherever. But just go back and replay what it was like when you have played your best. Putting yourself on that ice in the uniform you were wearing, the arena that you were in, feeling what it felt like, hearing what it sounded like, seeing what it looked like for you to be at your best. Replaying those moments from your career as if they were happening now. What they looked like. What they felt like. What they sounded like when you were at your best. Taking those moments when you were your most confident most productive, most prolific self and replaying those moments as if they were happening now. Replaying that video, seeing it out of your own helmet as if you're on the ice, sticking your hands seeing it like you would see it if you were playing now. And as I count from 10 to 0, replaying that highlight video of those moments when you were at your best. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, zero. And now as you take another full deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth, I want you to look forward to your next hockey performance. Whether that's a practice, weight room session, outside competition, whatever it is, putting yourself in that moment where you will be, what you'll be wearing, feeling the energy feeling the excitement of what it's like for you to be locked in, dialed in, and at your best. Seeing the energy that you bring to that next performance. The body language that you bring. The toughness. The physicality what it's like for you to be at your best in that next hockey performance. And you're on the bench now, getting ready to go, going through your pre-shift routine, picking up that focal point, whether it's the blue line on the boards, a flag in the arena, just that place that you look at before you get on the ice, that you look, you take that deep breath, and you enter that pre-shift routine. And 
Now you're on the ice and you're playing one shift at a time, playing with energy, playing with confidence. You come back over the boards, you're down with your line mates sitting down, you release that last shift going through your process, whether that be wiping snow off of your stick, taking a breath, looking at a focal point, whether it's on the bench, maybe the red line, looking at your water bottle, just whatever it is, letting that shift go, getting reconnected with your mates, getting ready to go again. And now think about what your three keys to keep it simple are. When you're playing your best hockey, when you go over those boards and you go get after it, what are the three things that you do to keep it simple for you? Maybe you've got those three keys written on your water bottle. Maybe they're taped on your stick. But where are you going to see your three keys to keep it simple? So that when you play your best, you know exactly what you're doing. And as you look out that next hockey performance, I'm now going to give you some scenarios and just experience what it would be like for you to execute as you rip it five hole. Shot from the point. Get a rebound. Put it away. One timer from the dot. Catch a deflection from the point. Put it away. Backdoor redirections. Driving the back post. A drive wide, pass off the pad, rebound goal. Two on one, pass over, catch and release. Two on one, look off, top corner. Face-off win, one-timer. Three-on-two rush, hit the trailer, catch and release. Now working on your defensive mental imagery, just moving pucks north quickly. Can that good first pass. Running the blue line, making the net big. Moving boots in first pass. Playing with a good aggressive stick on the puck. D zone arrival. First on puck, making contact. Getting pucks through, making the net big. Stick on puck, being good on piles. Being physical, knocking guys off the puck to start a transition or a breakout. now just experiencing what it's like for you to be playing your best hockey as we count 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. 
And now when you're ready, bring that awareness and attention back to your breath. As you inhale, breathe in nice and deep through your nose. Exhale out your mouth. And when you're ready, just go ahead and open up your eyes and bring yourself back to this room right here, right now. This concludes your hockey mental imagery training track.